Do you remember when you were a kid, your parents saying to you, be home before dark or don't talk to strangers? These are what I call precautionary strategies. In contemporary Australian society, there appears to be an increasing focus on holding individuals responsible for their own safety. But what if every time you walked alone or at night, there was a potential for you to be blamed for doing just that? This is a prospect facing some young women, such as Melbourne comedian Eurydice Dixon. My research seeks to dismantle the myth that women who engage like men in nightlife are somehow responsible for their own victimization. So my research seeks to understand the precautionary strategies that are promoted to young women. I also want to know if these are different for young men and how young women respond to these strategies. So my research has women going out at night, taking photographs and notes around risk, responsibility, safety, and danger. There is sometimes a suggestion that to avoid victimization, young women should take a range of these precautionary strategies, such as monitoring alcohol consumption and dressing appropriately. So while it seems that we were all warned to be home before dark or not to talk to strangers, it appears that young women who engage in nightlife are warned even further to self-protect against any potential risks. The results of my research so far suggest that women will take their earphones out when they do have to walk alone or at night, and that they'll carry their car keys between their fingers to use as a, as a potential weapon, if need be. However, these strategies are problematic, and they present three key issues for young women. Firstly, women frequently undertake these strategies, but it very rarely protects them from violence. Take the recent case of Melbourne comedian Eurydice Dixon, who messaged her partner on Facebook to say, I'm almost home safe, how about you? She was murdered less than a kilometre from home. Despite this, the advice from police, media, and politicians was to stay safe, carry a mobile phone, and even the potential introduction of non-lethal weapons, such as pepper spray and tasers, so that women can protect themselves. Secondly, it restricts women's ability to engage in nightlife the same way that men do. So while alcohol is an important part of Australian culture, Women's ability to engage with that is constricted on their ability to watch their drinks while they're out and make sure that they don't get too drunk. And finally, it impacts on victim blaming and it reduces already poor reporting rates for sexual violence for fear that those who do come forward may be labelled at fault or be blamed for their own victimisation. So using my research, we can understand the precautionary strategies that young women take and dismantle the myth that women who engage like men in nightlife are somehow responsible for their own victimization. Thank you.